Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to go ahead and explore two travel apps. The first one being Wonderlog and the second one being Road Trippers. So we're going to find out which one has better features and which one you should be using for your specific travel needs. So let's get into it. So we're starting out in Road Trippers, all right? And as you can see over here, they have a map as their home page. Now on the left hand side, you can access all of your tools. So if you see the little bed camera and the outdoors icon, you can see every one of these icons represent uh, something else that you can search for on the website. So as you can see, for example, the great outdoors, let us tap on that. And as you can see over here, it gives you a bunch of activities to do outdoors. And it also gives you what areas they're in with ratings and comments. So this is great if you are traveling and you wanna know what to do in the area that you're traveling in. You can also see that as I'm moving my mouse cursor around on the left hand side, on the map, it's actually showing me exactly where it is. So that's fantastic, all right? So let's get out of here and let's plan a trip. Now there's two ways that you can plan a trip in Road Trippers. So on the left hand side you'll see it says trip and here you can go ahead and plan where you would like to go so let's go ahead and uh, let's say we want to go ahead and travel to texas now you have two options you can go ahead and plan it by yourself and you can go through the motions of looking for places um, searching for places to eat looking for entertainment for the family and really, if you're unfamiliar with the area, this can be challenging. So they do have an AI autopilot, and all you have to do is click on plan it for me. Now, I like this because if you're unfamiliar, you literally have a built-in travel agent that does all the work for you. So you tap on let's get started, and now all you have to do is give it an idea of where you're starting and where you're going to. So we're going to choose an address and you can choose between a round trip and a one way. So let's go one way and we're going to tap on next at the bottom of the screen. From here, you're just going to select when you're departing and when you should be arriving. So let's just make it the fifth and we're going to just tap on next. You will now have to enter what you're driving now for me i don't really think it's necessary to specify what vehicle i'm driving i do understand if you are perhaps doing sort of outdoor activities maybe you want to go four by four uh, tracking this could be relevant also if you are using an rv or a camper or perhaps a motorcycle maybe there are specific activities or routes that are optimized for that type of vehicle however I'm just going to choose car, truck, or van, but at this point, they ask you what type of vehicle. So now you have to go ahead and you have to enter all the details in what type of vehicle you drive. All right, so they want to know the year model. They want to know the, uh, the make, the model of vehicle. And really, I do believe that it may be a little bit irrelevant, but for the fuel economy, uh, sort of idea of letting you know what you're going to be spending on the trip in terms of uh, fuel I do think it could be relevant what you're going to be doing here is just adding the amount of people within their age categories that are traveling we're going to tap on next and now they ask where you would like to stay so you can choose anything from most popular places all the way down to tent camping and you can also give a budget range you'll now have to specify what types of places you'd like to eat as well as a budget range and the types of activities that you prefer. So you can choose that and choose a budget range. And here you can go ahead and tap on generate your trip and it'll take a few minutes to generate. So we finally got our trip and you're gonna just tap on see my trip and we're back to the map. And on the left hand side, you'll see all the details of your trip. Now I think this autopilot is fantastic. It does ask of you to um, edit what you're actually seeing over here. So on the left hand side, you can see we've got our entire trip. And when you go into one of these cards, so for example, the Rosa Parks Library and Museum, once you go in there, you can see all the details, okay? You can see its physical address, contact details, 
pricing plans and you can see all of the detail that's been put into your trip so you can set a budget you can see that there's an arrival date you can add a custom name to the trip and um, you can also remove it from your route you can add reservations and references and you can also add a web link if you would love to do that so it really is customized to your liking all the little bit of details that it gave you it also gives you a roundup of how many waypoints there are uh, what distance you'll be traveling and the time that it'll take to do that in so um, that is day one and they break it up in days and they give you a roundup per day and then right at the top they give you a roundup for your entire trip including what it's going to cost and again of course this is an estimate so this is fantastic I, I like this very much because it's it's basically like a travel agent that created a trip for you that is familiar with the area Let's jump into Wonderlog and have a look at what Wonderlog offers. So jumping into Wonderlog, what you'll have to do is sign up and you're going to just tap on plan new trip. Now over here, you are going to enter where you're going. Again, let us use Texas and we are going to now just choose a date and we're going to choose a date that we will be arriving. So let's choose that and you can invite trip mates this is a nice feature however uh, road trippers does also have that feature you can see over here that they have made us a trip you can see also that they haven't added anything to your itinerary what they've done is they've given you suggestions and you can add it yourself now on the left hand side you have your itinerary and let's just go to one of the days as you can see over here on thursday may 30 you can now add a subheading, you can book a hotel, you can add a place that you would like to visit. And if you have any places on the web, you can go ahead and download it. It doesn't really allow you to sort of explore as much in terms of creating a trip for you. And if I have to be completely honest, this AI assist basically just has a conversation with you about what it is that you would like to do and where you're going to do it so you can say best burger in texas and it'll give you some suggestions it'll also give you all the details of those places that have the best burgers and you can actually see it on the map and you'll see the full google maps uh, item so you'll see the name with all of its reviews opening hours contact details official website and so forth and it's a nice feature however it still feels like i'm doing a lot of work compared to jumping into road trippers now let's have a look at their pricing difference of course road trippers does offer a free seven day trial however thereafter you will be paying as little as 35.99 a year that is three dollars a month that's really not a lot if you think about what you actually spend three dollars on per month it's crazy you could spend that in a moment wonderlog much the same they do have um, just one pricing plan it's 49 dollars a year and that also works out to be very very little so they do offer some nice free features however if you're wanting to use that ai assist within the wonderlog platform you only have a limited amount of messages whereas when you're using road trippers using the autopilot does allow you to use it limitlessly so what do you folks think is road trippers the new way to travel or is wonderlog still killing it with its hands-on approach let us know in the comment section we'd love to hear from you We'll see you next time. Happy traveling, people. Peace out.